On this Two Cent Tuesday, I'm gonna talk about what we do to get ice while we're on the road. I already talked about this product in a previous video, my top 10 Amazon must-haves, but today on the Two Cent Tuesday, I wanted to talk a little more in depth about our Igloo ice maker, the things that we like, we don't like, and stuff like that. I call this a must-have for your RV, even if you don't keep it in your RV. One, it does take up a lot of real estate in your RV, but if you full-time, you really don't have a choice but to have it in your camper. And if I full-timed, I would have this on my counter take up space. I love having ice in my drinks when we're traveling. And I don't want to do the ice cube trays just because it's constant and I, I just don't like doing the ice cube trays. Oh, it's making ice. I've dumped, because we're going on a trip in a couple of weeks, so I have these ice bags that I fill up with ice. And then I just put them in our freezer until we get ready to go, and then I put them in the freezer of the RV. Now, it just dumped one load of ice, and literally it takes probably two and a half, three minutes to make one batch. And it's not that much. I don't, okay. It's not that much, but it is, I mean, for a couple of minutes. I do have this on the large size ice, and it's got like a little hole in it, and then it makes them, and they're, they're really quick. And this bag here is two full baskets of ice that I have dumped in here. So basically, I'll let it make a full bucket of ice, and then I just take them and dump it in here, and then I go stick this in the freezer. Now, I'm gonna go stick this in the freezer real quick because I know that it's gonna melt. The things I like, it makes um, ice quick, and it is self-cleaning, and you can do a small and a large piece of ice. Price point, not terribly expensive. I wanna say it's like $250, but for an ice maker, that's not horrible. I would say make four or five baskets of ice out of one reservoir being completely full. Now, my dislikes about this thing is when it gets low on water, it whines and whistles and it makes a lot of noise for that case. When it is making ice, I don't know if you can hear it or not, it does make a good size humming sound. If you can hear it. So if you had this sitting on the counter, it would be that noise. Bill hates the whining that it makes and I'll try to record that for y'all so you can hear that noise. Also, my dislikes is if the power blinks, you have to come and turn it back on. So if it has a whole thing of ice and the power has blinked, it will not have any ice because it will all melt because it turns itself off. That is a super huge negative that I don't like, but I just have to remember if the power blinks at the house that I need to go and turn it back on. If you're looking for an ice maker for your RV, this igloo one, it gets great reviews and we have really absolutely enjoyed it and like i said we just get the bags from amazon put the ice in it and then we put them in our camper before we leave and i try to keep two or three bags of ice built up just so we have extra ice if we ever need it for anything else hope you enjoyed this video also watch my top 10 rv must-haves from amazon if you haven't already and subscribe Till next time, like and subscribe.